Okay, I want to start introducing power, power in fluids, um, power in energy, and how we can use Bernoulli's equation to find power in in pumps and turbines and and uh, in all of these fluid systems. But before we start that, we need to go over some terminology and um, to better understand uh, where these where this next equation is going to come from, which I'm not actually going to introduce till the next video, but uh, the very first thing I want to go over is um, a device. A device in a system. So, a device. Okay? And a device is any rigid walled um, stationary fluid conduit. And that conduit has to have one flow inlet and one flow outlet. So it could be anything. It'd be, it could be um, a pipe, a pipe, a pipe. And it's the pipe is stationary, it's rigid walled, and it has one flow inlet and one flow outlet. Now, this device is said to be active. So, active. If the device has um, internal moving parts, and these could be anything from impellers, rotors, pistons. So there's there's something, some other machinery inside this device um, that's active, that's moving. And if that's so, we can say that the device is active. And uh, there, there's also a, a, a passive. We can also call devices passive. And, well, you guessed it. If there's internal moving parts and it's active, passive must mean that this device has no internal moving parts. Well, it could have internal moving parts. Well, it could have parts, but they don't necessarily have to be moving. Um, and and these could be. They're they're usually um, any devices that are not active. So anything, any device that's not active, could be a passive device. And these passive devices include anything from uh, simple pipes, just a pipe with nothing in it, um, stationary fixtures such as um, elbows, um, valves, and, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Things that things that are there into the system, but they don't they don't necessarily give energy to the fluid that's going inside these devices, okay? And there's pumps and then there's turbines. Okay, these are some more words. Pumps and turbines. And in fluid mechanics we refer to pumps as any active device. Any active device that is said to increase the energy content of the fluid. So if fluid's coming in and then there's a pump here inside this pipe, right? So we'll denote that P. If there's a there's a pump, the fluid's coming in, and this this pump gives more energy to that fluid coming in. So the energy over here is bigger than the energy over here because the pump gave this fluid energy, right? And the turbine is, well, you can think of it as the opposite. So the fluid's coming in with a certain energy, and the turbine's um, taking away or extracting energy out of this fluid. And the fluid coming out, you know, it has less energy than what was coming in. And so that's a pump, and that's a turbine. And a transfer head, a transfer head, transfer head. Okay, a transfer head is usually associated with any uh, passive or active device, and that's usually defined as the energy transferred to or from the fluid per unit of weight of fluid processed. So the transfer head is usually associated with um, either a passive or an active device, and those those devices must be um, giving giving energy or taking away energy. 
in this case it could be pumps or turbines, right? And the last term is power. 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 Probably one of the most important things in fluid mechanics. And power is defined to be the time, time, rate of energy transfer. Okay? And power is the product of the device transfer head and the weight flow rate. Okay, so the weight flow rate is actually just gamma times Q. It's the specific weight times the flow rate. And this is, this is what we call in fluid mechanics the weight flow rate. Weight flow rate. All that is, is it, it's, it's the flow rate times the specific weight. Okay, it's gamma times Q. Now remember, Q is equal to the velocity times the cross-sectional area, so VA. And power is equal to um, the product of the device transfer head, so the device transfer head of either a pump or a turbine or something else, times the weight flow rate. And so we can say power is equal to whatever head, right, a pump head or a turbine head times gamma Q. And... Um, remember the transfer heads are are just the the energy content of maybe a turbine get, taking away energy or a pump giving energy to the water and and heads are usually usually in units of uh, length so either meters or feet or inches or centimeters etc cetera, etc cetera, okay and it, it'll the energy head and the pump head and the and the transfer head and turbine head it all makes sense in in the next um, next couple of examples we do I promise it'll make make sense but let's just continue with the terminology in a passive fixture in a passive fixture in a passive fixture the power is usually zero, right? And that makes sense, right? A passive fixture, so just just a simple pipe or an elbow or a valve. That pipe isn't giving or taking away energy from from the um, the pipe or the system, right? An elbow doesn't have any moving parts; in. they're all just passive, uh, not moving parts. And the power of those are usually always zero. But they do have some losses. And I believe DM stands for dis mechanical dissipation losses. Um, and, and for a passive fixture, it's equal to the HF, H sub F, which stands for the transfer head for passive devices. It's also referred to as head loss or frictional head loss times the weight flow rate, right? Gamma times Q. So, a quick example, if there was a pipe, it was a passive pipe, and, and water was flowing inside, and the problem said, oh, the, the pipe had a frictional head loss of 10 feet. Well, that would be this term. And you know the specific weight of water, or it might be given, and you can find out the, the volumetric flow rate uh, using the velocity times the area the cross-sectional area of the pipe, okay? Now for a pump, the power positive, right, because it's giving the water energy is usually H sub P, right, for pump, times the weight flow rate, and the dissipational mechanical losses, or mechanical dissipation is, um, zero. I mean, there is some, but it's very, very, very small, because compared to the power, it's, it's very, very big. Well, the power would be much, much bigger than the mechanical dissipation. Now, for the turbine, it's actually negative, right? The turbine takes away energy. And that's equal to HT, or the head loss, or the turbine head, times gamma Q, and again, this is zero. Okay, so in short, 
um, HF is equal to the frictional head loss. And this is usually referred to um, simple passive devices and passive fixtures. Um, and then HP stands for pump head, which is usually positive, right, because it gives energy to the water. And the turbine head, which is usually negative because it takes away energy, extracts energy out of the water. Okay, and we'll use this, this, and this along with our power formula to figure out an equation in the next video.